G'day all, how are yous? Um, happy 2024. I've got a product here that's come out um, from Speedy B. It's a mini version of the F405 wing flight controller. Currently having the FX61. Looks quite exciting. I've actually got one on the way. I'm going to put it into a uh, new build. So this video, I'm just going to run through some of the specs and info that I've got here just to show you what it's a bit about. It's very similar to the Big Brother F405 wing, but there are some small differences too, one being the size and a couple of other little features too that are quite interesting. So sit back, enjoy this, and um, yeah, see what you think. Leave us your thoughts in the comments. Welcome to the F405 Wing Mini from Speedy Bee. This is a new flight controller that they've just released to go alongside the, the bigger version of the F405 Wing. This is designed for a fixed wing under 250 grams. Small size and easy installation is its main design. The flight controller, it's small, compact size, it doesn't compromise functionality. Its sleek design not only saves space, but also cleverly integrates almost all essential features from compact glider cockpits to sub 250 gram fixed wings, the F405 wing mini. It's designed to fit into any fixed wing craft. Featuring a compact size with flexible installation, easy plug and play, just like the previous bigger version. Extended range with a new wireless tuning 2.0. It supports VTOL function and HD and analog uh, VTX transmission. It's two layer design. You can actually add other stacks on top of it too, which is quite handy keeping your CG. It also has an onboard current sensor with dual BECs. Comes with 90 degree header pins. It has support for dual cam switching if you have more than one camera on board your craft. Something the larger F405 wing didn't have. It also supports iNav and Ardu Pilot. This flight controller uses a graphical interface in the SpeedyB app, a newer version, transforming intricate technical adjustments into intuitive and straightforward operations. It's suitable for both beginners and experts alike. Uh, also reduces your setup time too. Just like the previous F405 wing released over a year ago. This one has a neat and easy installation with plug and play. Also provides straightforward ins installation experience when connecting GPS or video cameras. It's got a great layout, ensures quick and safe hassle-free connections with labeled solder pads on the sockets back. Also offers an efficient, reliable option for customization, perfectly balancing the ease and use of professional grade reliability. The F405 Wing Mini's wireless tuning function also has been upgraded to version 2.0, offering a smoother, more reliable experience. App-based operations are now quicker with reduced loading times for more simple tuning. The F405 Wing Mini in this model introduces a dual camera switching without the need for any complex mechanisms. Simple one button switch, you can capture a wide range of perspectives from different cameras. This should be great from anything from following formations if you're flying with a mate. Awesome for different points of view while you're flying. Just note though, this feature only currently supports switching between analog cameras, not high definition. Hopefully that will be fixed in upcoming firmware upgrades. Full MCU pinout breakout, so there's no more interface confusion. Everything is labeled exactly where you need to plug it in. This should make it a lot simpler for people new to the hobby and help them put things in the right place. With up to 11 PWM outputs and nine straight header pins, three reserve solder pads for motor and servo control. This makes the F405 Wing Mini very suitable for a variety of fixed wing craft, including conventional layered aircraft, V-tail aircraft, uh, aircraft with flaperons and VTOLs. It supports both iNav and Ardu Pilot firmwares. iNav offers a more user-friendly setup for flight handling, while Ardu Pilot explores a more advanced capabilities for more advanced flying styles. 
The multi-layer PCB design is for cool and stable operation without interference. The sensor is designed with separate layers for power supply, flight control and function modules, effectively resolving sensor interference caused by power circuits. Up to two high power BECs with larger heat dissipation areas ensuring cool and reliable operation. Vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL. With seamless vertical takeoff and landing and tuning through iNav 7 or Ardu Pilot software lets pilots explore vertical flight, something uh, I'll really want to get into eventually. High definition and analog video transmission direct plug and play interface supports both interfaces of high definition and analog video transmission. Some more useful features this flight controller has. Function expansion, which features stackable extensions, wireless function upgrade enhance functionality through firmware updates, boot button operations, firmware flashing uh, or wireless modes with a single press. Servo BEC external power option, Disconnect built-in servo BEC and boost VX power with an external servo BEC. The buzzer mute switch. Mute the buzzer easily with a switch. Uh, you've also got a precision current sensor optimized current scaling for low range, low current range, 10 amp during cruise. So dimensions for the F405 wing mini are 26 millimeters across the top by 37 millimeters. The stack itself is 14 millimeters in thickness with the three boards and the weight of it is 23 grams including the wireless USB extender. As a comparison here's the dimensions for the F405 wing flight controller released over a year ago. So the package includes one F405 Wing Mini power distribution board, an F405 Wing Mini flight control board, F405 Wing Mini wireless USB extender, the F405 Wing Mini custom install shield board, F405 Wing Mini standard shield board, 90 degree header pins, you've also got straight header pins too, M2 6.5 copper standoffs, 3.5mm small head cross screws, white straight header pins, M2 3x3 copper standoffs, 5 of those, and you've got your low ESR 35 volt capacitor. So some of the wiring you get with this as well, you get your 8 pin wireless USB extender cable, 150mm long, you get a 4 pin analog VTX cable, 300mm long, a 6 pin GPS module cable, without connector on the other end, 250mm long. A 6-pin digital VTX cable, 300mm long. FPV camera cable, 300mm long. And a 4-pin DuPont single head cable, 150mm long. So that's about it for the little run through of this new flight controller from Speedybee, the F405 Wing Mini, uh, suited not just for 250 gram uh, fixed wing planes, but you can probably also use it in a, a, a bit larger ones too. Here's a comparison here of the Speedy B F405 wing, comparing it to the mini wing. Anyone interested, just pause your video here. So to wrap it up, I'm just gonna leave you with all the specifications here of the new Speedy B F405 wing mini flight controller. If you wanna stop it, just pause the video to have a good look. Uh, I'm not going to read it all to you, but um, in, in all it looks like a pretty good product comparing it to its bigger brother, you know, there's not a lot of differences there, but it looks like a good, good option for smaller craft most definitely. So anyone that's enjoyed the bigger version, which I have in my F60, FX61 plane, I'm sure you'll enjoy this one just as much. So stay tuned guys, I have got one of these at the moment and plan to put it into a build, possibly a small glider of some sort, we'll see. So stay tuned for that and check it out when it comes out. Anyway guys, hope you all enjoyed this little review of the new flight controller Speedy B has released. I've got a link it below if you want to head to the website and check it out further or purchase it, you may do, as it's ready to buy straight away. Stay tuned guys for more on this one and happy flying. See you guys in the next video. Bye for now.